Today on Number 6 with Cheese, we're back in the Rattlesnake Division of Taco Bell's menu to get those burritos. Will we react like this? This burrito is delicious, but it is filling. Or like this. I have had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. When we open up that paper and eat that burrito, find out today. This could be a redemption story. Or they could bury themselves further, further into the abyss. Ew! Whoa! Looks like a pretty poorly made french fry with some cheese and jalapenos on it. I give that a .5. Two rattlesnake fry burritos from Taco Bell have been acquired on this show, Jump Cut. Rockin', rockin' the pocket shirt today. Rockin' the P! Numero six con queso dot com. That's misleading, because that's, don't go to that URL. And you, in Spanish, dot is just <laughs> dot. Dot <laughs> gone. These apparently have that creamy jalapeno sauce. I am predicting that the more of that, the better for the yeah. score. A second angle to show a brown burrito? <laughs> uh, I mean, not really, uh, right? No, no, screw it. Why wouldn't you just get another burrito, Todd? Well, we could do the side bite. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't hit. Let's do this plane of dick. So I close, was so to, close to just wrecking my horn. <laughs> Bro, this dude drives like a effing maniac or parks like a maniac. He don't give an F about nothing. He don't give an F about nothing. Alright, side bite and split. It's like a little pregame, little teaser before. This is the rattlesnake burrito with steak, nacho cheese, french jalapenos, fries. and french fries. Ugh. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Way better than the nacho fries. Way better. Something about wrapping it in a tortilla, they have to put more cheese, you know, mm -hmm. just kind of naturally. I love my burritos having french fries in them too. Oh, dude, me too. You taught me that, actually. You started putting potatoes and burritos, and then I started doing it. Mm. Full credit goes to you. 100% of it. Every single time I make burritos at home and I put potatoes in them, I have this little jar called the Cory jar. Mm -hmm. And I drop like two to three bucks in there. Oh, that's and so I haven't sweet. told you about it until it literally will fund your, it's like your retirement fund. So, I can't wait. Let me know. Yeah, this is pretty good, man. I mean, this is pretty cool that all this, like, it's just busting out of here. And they do, it's full free fries. Yeah. You're not cutting those up and, like, getting little niblets. You might get an entire french fry in a bite. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh, it costs them essentially no extra money. Mm -hmm. The cost of a tortilla, so a nickel. Yeah, less than that. Mm -hmm. I remember when you used to be able to get a Hershey for a nickel. And it looks like they don't use any more steak. Like I'm looking in here, I'm like, still not much steak, but for some reason, I'm still satisfied. I think this would be better with ground beef instead of steak. Thank you, right. Not much to it, is what I'm getting at. Is three bucks too expensive for that? That's a really good question. I don't know. I mean, logic is telling me like, yeah, they definitely made out on that one, right. but I'm satisfied. That was good. How, okay, let me ask you this. How much is a cheesy gordita crunch, you know? It's like five bucks. I'm gonna say 369 or 429 would be my guess. Oh, so it's not that much more. It's probably a little too much, and I don't know Taco Bell prices as well as I know like the standard for all the other. And that's probably joints. respectable because the fact that I always have an answer or some sort of a guess, <laughs> that is for that to be the thing that I'm good at. It should come with a little shame. It comes with so much shame. Yeah. Remember yeah. the Game of Thrones scene? Shame. Oh, shame. No. They superimposed oh, my shame. body on Cersei. Shame. That was me. You got some tit. <laughs> <laughs> Patriot shout out, Patriot shout out, Patriot shout out. People that are members of a select community of number six G's, they donate every single month. You get your name shouted out, obviously, because you're a hero yeah, of this channel. Hero. Corey, who's the Patreon number one? Numero uno, we got a, a gosh darn gentleman by the name of Kevin Fandry. Ke Kevin Fandry. I remember that name coming across the board. He's also bought stuff off the website. For some reason, that seems like it should be an easy name, but I think because it's two separate words pushed together. Fan drive. I want to say fan drive, but I'm like, that's probably not. When you put them together, it's probably if somebody not who has had his last name pronounced wrong all the time, even though it's short, E-L-Y, I'm going to call him fan drive. That's a Ninja Turtles. That's a that Ninja Turtles That guy is car. an actual Ninja Turtle. Bro, he's got PT Cruiser, side green paneling, purple top, and a giant uh, purple... Fuzzy steering wheel cover, or no? It no, like that's the Mystery Mobile. That's yeah. the PT Cruiser, PT Cruiser version of the Mystery Mobile. I think maybe. Mystery Machine. Mystery Machine. Get your Scooby Doo references right. Yes. Thank you, Kevin Fandry. <laughs> Thanks, Fandry. <laughs> Patreon name number two today, Mr. Arthur Sailor. Awesome name. Awesome name. Oh, where's olive oil? <laughs> 
Fake laugh, fake personality, <laughs> fake hairstyle. Hey! <laughs> it's real, it's real! Cut your hair, loser! Out of five, last time I did Stone Cold Steve Austin's. Let's do out of five, stunnering Steve Austin, his, Ooh, his yeah, previous. I mm. I've shown everyone in World Championship Wrestling that no one can beat stunning Steve Austin. How many stunnering Steve Austin's do you give the Rattlesnake Burrito from Taco Bell Cory? I'm gonna give that a three. I was gonna go low. I was gonna go with a pretty average two and a half because there's like basically no meat in it Right, but they did put french fries in there and I like innovation and I'm gonna give them a little half a bonus point for innovation So it's not the tastiest thing I've had it. It's probably overpriced you It can is get cheaper at Taco Bell, but all in all it was a good flavor and definitely like I, I like to think of three It's a little bit above average. It's like yeah, it's worth a try mm -hmm. Probably not gonna get it often, but okay Well, my logic is I think they conned us perfectly and Taco mm -hmm. Bell's good at it yep. There's about six fries in there two pieces of beef a hundred jalapenos and a square of cheese, you're charging three dollars. Is if you put all of those ingredients in a in the tray for yep. nacho fries, you go, the hell is this, dude? Yeah. So, so I think right. um, because Taco Bell's been doing that amazing thing where they bring stuff in for a dollar and then take it away, to charge me three for a burrito that's the same size as ones you've had for a dollar earlier this year, last year, 2017, I'm gonna go a 1.5 on that. Wow, drastically lower. Drastically I like lower. I like the flavor, but what do you you're confusing me with? You're trying to make me pay way more for way less food. Food, and that bums me out. Yeah, that's acceptable, man. And this is coming from a guy that could live off of Taco Bell burritos. Sometimes does, I feel. Uh, yeah, like. and it's, you know. Certain junctures in your life. Absolutely. So I don't know, whatever. It's still a good taste if you don't care about money and you rolling in it, dude. Yeah, if you rolling, get a hundred of those bro, for 300 pounds, yeah, bro. If you got three bucks, if you rolling enough that you got three bucks, bro. Whoa, Panda Face just freaked me out. I really wish I could Holy take video of this, smokes. but quite obviously, that would be an infringement of this person's no, privacy. No, because you can't see, you don't know who it is. That's, that's true. Panda Face. Let's, see, could, hold on, let's see if you guys can see this. Right? I think they could. They were the little back of his panda head. Panda. 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 <laughs> I think they could. They were the little back of his panda head. So I think it was like a ski mask, right? Yeah. So he's gonna go rob like a zoo mask. or something. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think if you buy that, you have to rob a zoo. <laughs> He's headed to the Lincoln Park Zoo. Uh, thank you guys. Doesn't charge anybody to free. come in. So it's free like for him money. to just nab animals. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you to all the Patreons specifically that keep this channel going. We love the you. link is right here and also below if you want to click. Donate a dollar a month because then you're in the running for a bunch of prizes and stuff. It's great. Do it. We'll see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Thanks for rocking with us. Have the best day. Tell one person close to you how much you love them today and why specifically. You know? I'll do his off camera. Bye. <laughs>